Hello everybody, welcome to my first Minecraft Mod Mania episode. Uh, in this series I'll be hoping to be showing a lot of the mods which I've uh, began to download and showing you some, hopefully, some cool things you could do with them. So, yeah, in this first video I will be showing three mods as the first two don't really require much explanation. And here we go, I says um, single player commands I sort of showed there. Single player commands is a very useful mod. Uh, as many of you know, when you play SMP you get to use commands. This it literally brings those commands into single player. Works exactly the same way as in multiplayer. As you put, type in help and you get a long list of commands and the command then is time you can change your time to either night, day or select a time via number for instance 8 o'clock and what I did at the beginning of the video was I used the bind the bind command which then be bind to the Z key which is what I've done time day which is very useful was now instead of having to constantly type in time day, simply press Z and it turns to day. So a lot of this single player commands will take far too long to show you all of it. And I will be using a lot of the commands during my episode so I won't bother showing you guys too much. The second mod is too many items, which again I'll be showing you a lot throughout the episode so I won't go into too much detail now, but this is basically an inventory editor in-game. It shows all of the blocks, all of the um, items, which including the mods, which is quite useful as env edit, which I used to use, doesn't show you, often doesn't show you pictures of modded items. So if I press left click callstone, I'll get a 64 callstone. Or I could right click and increase by uh, 6. And then if I don't want it, instead of having to throw it into lava or throw it away and hope not to pick it up again, I can put it in trash or hold shift, delete, and delete it all. Anyway, onto my first mod, which is Portal Gun. Portal is um, various, it's a pretty fun mod really. It's not too many useful things. And here's all the. Um, Lots of the blocks which come with it, which I'll show you a few of what we all do. So here, here's the item, has two ones, but you only need to use one. As pressing G swaps it over to a blue portal or a orange portal. Firing the blue orange portal there. Um fire the blue portal there. This here this here works surprisingly well, so if I fire my blue portal there. Oh, hold a second, my I'll find a good good surface to do this on to show you guys how how this works. So if I I'll put my blue portal up there, my orange portal down here. And as in portal you can gather momentum to launch you longer distances. And and it's pretty much covers like you can use a portal on any surface of all the original Minecraft blocks. So if I totally turn the fog off, hope it doesn't make it too laggy as my computer doesn't cope well with fraps. I can easily fire portals onto the very long distances. Another thing which is quite useful about the portal mod, which is quite quite a cool thing. We have some some music discs, which I'll show you guys now. So I found a jukebox, which should be somewhere near the beginning. I'm not 64, but it doesn't really matter. Let's quickly really turn up, um, turn music up, turn sound up as well. So if I think. This is just still alive. This was a so yeah, I'm not, not sure if you guys can hear that very well, but quite cool. As I don't know, it was, it was, it was 
one of the reasons why Portal became so well known. So it's quite nice that they've included that in the mod. Uh, we've got some blocks. We've got oh. high energy pellet launcher. I don't actually use a lot of these. I, I attempted to use the place a high energy pellet catcher only for my game to crash. So hopefully that will not be the case. This time I was asked to skip forwards. Alright, so um, I'm guessing this will need redstone. Now the creator of this is not going to include Portal 2 just yet as he wants to first uh, make sure that all the Portal 1 stuff works and is you know, iron out as many bugs as possible. Although we we quite cool seeing how they um, do the gel as that was quite quite a fun thing to use in um Portal One, I mean Portal Two, sorry. And we uh, it'd be quite useful as well in Minecraft to create certain obstacle courses. So let's go portals. Um, the the on horizontal surfaces can take up only one um, so I can't, I can't place three, for instance here I can't actually place two on a vertical surface but I can as you can see on that place a um, blue portal on that surface ok I'll put some move this further back Try and find a um, pickaxe. Can't quite remember where they are. What we went past them. So I'll try moving this back and see if that works. There you can see it flying around. I'm using that from the um, orange portal I put up there. But okay, we'll try. We'll try this now. And I'm guessing if I was to put some redstone up here, that would um, light it up. So see if I can create an obvious, an obvious um way of showing that if a redstone worked. So I'll, I'll place a door down there. That should show quite clearly how it works. The important thing to note is um, if you're not going to use inventory editor but just can use the uh, item command then well, yes, you, can see, you can see the redstone wire was activated by that. From the, yeah. So anyway, also got weighted storage cubes. So yeah, I'll call in this. And of course, everyone's favourite, the companion cube. And these here can be placed on um they can be placed on buttons or whatever. To uh, yeah, as well work the same as in um what's it called portal. Normal portal, we just place a place a button usually on a button, especially in one of the earlier tests. I'm not 100% sure what the button actually is, but they are they, well, the same physics as sand, so if you were to place a, a good penny cube here, it would fall down, which I'm guessing is how it would work in portal maps. And you also got intelligence indicators, sounds interesting. So I'll, I'll place another um, high energy pellet catcher, whatever, whatever it's called here again. Quite, it takes quite a long time to break, quite annoying. I'm not sure why they seem to do that, a lot of people. Okay, I'm not sure what happened there. I'll try placing one like this. No. 
It's not gonna work. Okay, that's worked. Uh, maybe if we we're on phase two. Um, oh, I'll show you another thing that you can use, which comes with single player commands, is world edit. So you can see, left click selects position one. Well, right click selects position two, and it sort of creates a cube. So, which, uh, yeah. Anyway, so thank you for watching guys, I uh, hope you enjoyed the video and you'll like and subscribe as I'm going to be showing you guys a lot more mods and some awesome things you can do with them. Thanks, bye.